M106, M51, and the secret underneath the scorpion's claw. These are the targets that I shot in the past few months and I'm going to take you on the last stretch of that journey capturing the last two hours of hydrogen alpha for M106 and some broadband data for the secret target I'm going to show you at the end. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is the very first Astro Vlog and welcome to Astra Pharma. Good news everybody, we survived the sun. I finished hitching my trailer, did all my safety checks, and I'm on my way to the gas station. I want to check the air pressure of my tires, both in the trailer and my truck, and I will see you guys on the way to the desert. MRM said, your life has been one of grand accomplishment, and you have spent it seeking the good of Alethkar. So here we are, I've arrived at the location here. It's about a Bortel 4, Bortel 5 zone. It's a bit windy actually, but cooler than I expected. So hopefully the wind doesn't affect the guiding later on today. And we still have plenty of sun left, so that's good news. Hopefully that's gonna be enough time for me to do all my setting up, balance my telescopes, have the sequences ready. So uh, let's get to work. You know what's my favorite part of an imaging night? The moment right before the sun goes down. All your equipment are ready, everything is balanced, and you're just waiting for the sun to go down. It's calm, it's tranquil. It's why we do this. So uh, I've had quite the eventful night here. I was supposed to be testing the Stellarmate Pro out in the field, but unfortunately the app kept crashing and I couldn't do anything. I switched to Nina. Everything was fine at first until for some reason the camera wasn't downloading any of the images. I didn't know how to fix it, but then I remembered some people were having a similar issue and it was fixed when they started using USB 2.0 instead of USB 3.0. So I did some scrambling, changed the cable from a USB 3 to a USB 2, and it seems to be capturing now with no issues. My smaller telescope, the William Optic Gran Turismo 81 millimeters, is doing completely fine, I didn't have any issues with it, and I'm using the ASI Air, ironically. <laughs> and I'm capturing a pretty unique target, I'm gonna show it to you guys at the end. But anyways, I need to eat something now, my microwave is ready, and my food is ready down there in the fridge. I'll see you guys after a quick meal. Good morning everybody, so I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is, this little beast here ran through its sequence with no issues. The bad news is, this huge hunk right here failed halfway through the sequence, the same problem that I mentioned before. Nina kept failing to download the images from the camera, I still don't know what the reason is. I'm gonna try and fix it tomorrow, hopefully, and get some more hydrogen data for M106. Unfortunately, I was only able to get about three and a half hours tonight, but it's at least three and a half hours of quality data. Let me take some plots and I'll see you in a few. We managed three and a half hours of hydrogen. I was planning on six, but you know, I'll take it. I'm so ready to get into the shower and get to bed, but first I'm gonna actually try and replace some cables, see if that fixes things later on tonight when I try this all over again. Once more onto the breach, dear friends. This is day two of my journey to capture M106 in the deserts of Kuwait. Today, I have zero expectations. I just want to go in, get a couple of hours, and then head back home. It seems like the forecast is a bit dire. It looks like there's going to be clouds rolling in at around 9 p.m., 10 p.m. So I'm going in with very mild expectations tonight. 
I just want to see if everything works. I just want to see if switching the cables fixed my problem. And we'll see how it goes. And we're back. Let's get to work. So that went just about how I expected it to go. I got about two hours of hydrogen this time. Unfortunately, the error that I was receiving before kept on persisting. I still don't know what's causing it. I'm going to try different things later on, but for now, I'm going to head back home. I have an hour drive in the middle of the night. It's about 1.30 in the morning right now, and I'm really, really tired. So I'll see you guys when I get home. Oh boy, so what you just saw was the culmination of 11 days spent in the desert, about 62 hours of total integration time, and many, many hours of stacking and processing. I hope you guys enjoy these images, and clear sky to you all.